And you don't call it a holocaust. And you don't cry about it. You don't get up any day complaining. Nobody comes to you and asks you, but you cry for everybody else's holocaust. Because you weren't taught that these people had anything at all to do with you. You forget that the slave boat did not come from Africa to America. It came from Africa to the Caribbeans, from the Caribbeans to America. The first boat that brought Africans here were not from Africa, but from Barbados. The first that came to Virginia in 1619 in Jamestown. So you weren't told that there's any connection. As a matter of fact, the people from Alabama don't feel anything for the people of New Jersey. And the people of New Jersey don't feel anything for the people of Mississippi, etc., etc. We have not been taught that way. Thus, we couldn't even have with Jesse an African drive for an African people. In the midst of the drive, we had to change to rainbow. And you stood here and got on your knees and begged for a holiday for Dr. King. You disgraced Dr. King. The enemy never award his foe with a holiday. The Italians got a day for a man that got lost, couldn't find his way. Columbus Day, they didn't go to anybody for the holiday. The Irish got a day for a man that killed snakes in Ireland. They didn't go to anybody for holiday. The Poles got a day for Pulaski. They didn't go and beg a day. Why didn't you take a day? You had to go beg for even a day to worship a great man. But you failed to understand that King did not operate alone. There was a man at the same time named Malcolm X. And somebody told you that Malcolm X preached violence. How the hell you think you got here? By non-violence? How you think you got lynched? And how you think King died? By a bullet like Malcolm X. Malcolm left a woman named Betty with six daughters, two in her stomach when he died. They've never seen their daddy. King left a woman with three children too. What is it about one struggling for you that isn't about the other struggling for you? You let people decide for you who fights for you. What made Malcolm less a fighter for you than King? They both died fighting in the best way they knew for their people. None worse or none better than the other. But worst of all, you have not one day cried for Rosa Parks. And that sister started all. Just give them black sisters a chance. They will show us brothers the way. Because, you see, they know that when the Africans were built, made their first calendar in 10,000 B.C., 10,000 B.C., called the Stella Calendar, and revised that in 4100 B.C., the so-called pre-dynastic era. Where was Greece? Where was Etrusca that later became Rome? They don't tell you about this, do they? They don't tell you anything about this aspect of the African. Because it's not slavery. It doesn't deal with Amos and Andy. It doesn't deal with roots and novel. Which they got you to believe had something to do with your history. They couldn't do this because They did not, where were they when you were dealing with astronomy? That's the movement of the stars and the other planets related thereto. 
and astrology. I'm not talking no nonsense about when your girlfriend planet is down in Pluto and something. That's ignorance. Down right premeditated ignorance. Even a jackass wouldn't follow that. And some of you wouldn't come out the house unless you read your horoscope. And you get courses in it in universities now. How to be a jackass. <laughs> Let us get it down. When Inhotep and others establish the pyramid text and the Korkin text, when you go to a place called Aswan and you see how the Africans, your ancestors, dug those marble obelisks, And when you go, you'll hear always they tell you in school and they read the beautiful love story about the Majahara who built his palace for his most beloved wife, the Taj Mahal. They didn't stop to tell you that thousands of years before that, a pharaoh by the name of Ramesses II not only built a temple out of hewn rock bigger than this place, along with one for his most beautiful and most precious wife, Nefertara. Don't mix her up with Nefertiti. Nefertiti was the wife of Amenhotep IV who changed his name to Akhenet. That's the uh, 18th dynasty. I am talking about Nefertara, the wife of Ramesses II, that is the 19th dynasty. No mention about that because they can't tell you African men did anything good for African women. Much less to mention pharaohs and queens. Yet the evidence is still there. You go to Ethiopia at a place called Lalibela and you see the rock-hewn temples, the rock-hewn churches in the side of mountains, down in the ground, engineering thousands of years before any country existed in all of Europe. I'm not to speak about it. All I say to you is check me out. Check these things out for yourself. Go and see them, read about them, research about them. So when doctor, why? What happened? You say, why do I need to know it? If Dr. Martin Luther King knew what I'm talking about, he would not have gone to Mohammed Karan, Mohammed, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi to learn about nonviolence. He would have known that Gandhi read the works of Akhenaten to learn about Nakhon and he would have gone home to his native Africa to get first hand information. <laughs> but they kept the teachings from uh, in, in all the university, even when he went to the University of Massachusetts, BU rather, with Dr. Harmon and others up there, they didn't tell him about Akhenaten. Because, you see, they don't talk about Akhenaten because Akhenaten talked about monotheism. He died before Moses was born preaching monotheism. The worship of the God, Aten, A-T-E-N. He talked about the Trinity of God and you could go at a temple called the Temple of Luxor and see on the wall the Trinitarian concept 3,000 years before Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. But they couldn't teach Akhenaten. They couldn't teach these things because then you would question what is being taught to you now in theosophy, in theology, in philosophy. But the point is that I'm going to be the bad fellow when this is over. And you're going to be told that he is the Antichrist. But the funny thing is I don't have three names with six letters each. So I can't qualify for the Antichrist. They already specified how the Antichrist would come. 